Hello, welcome to, whoops, there's a little pop up here. Welcome to the art of building a successful massage practice. I, I think I'm a few seconds early. I'm gonna wait for people to chime in. If you are tuning in live, uh, please tell me where you're from and tell me your favorite movie. Um, I am uh, tuning in from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and my favorite movie is Fight Club. Hi, Lindsay! Um, yeah, so if you're just tuning in, uh, comment below, tell me where you're from, tell me what your favorite movie is. I'm in Toronto, my favorite movie is Fight Club, and if you're watching the replay, um, also tell me what your favorite movie is, because uh, I just think that's a really fun way to get to know people. Central Michigan. You know, I used to go to Detroit every year. You guys have the best music venues. Hi, Rebecca. <laughs> um, okay, hi. I'm I'm gonna, let's get to it. Guelph, Ontario. Your favorite movie is Moulin Rouge. Would you believe I've never seen it? I know. Anyway, um, okay, I don't want to waste anybody's time. So uh, I tend to ramble. So here's how this is gonna go. I'm going to uh, quickly, hopefully quickly, just introduce myself um, because most of you probably have no idea who I am. And then I'm gonna cut to the chase. I'm gonna tell you why I'm here. I'm gonna tell you uh, why, you're, why you're tuning in, what you really wanna know. Um, and then I'm gonna tell my story. I'm gonna slow down a bit and tell my story. So uh, you might be with me all afternoon. So <laughs> happy new year, everybody. Okay, oh, Pulp Fiction, I just watched that recently. It's so good, oh my gosh. The scene where they talk about the foot massage, love it, excellent, great choice, Miranda. Um, okay, I'm gonna get distracted. <laughs> so, for those who don't know me, and maybe for those who do, my name is Nikki, and I am a massage therapist in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. If you see me looking down, it's because I took notes. I'm nervous, you guys, <laughs> this is a big group. Um, you might recognize my name because um, I'm quite vocal in these massage therapist Facebook groups, so you might recognize my name. I'm the one who's always telling people to raise their rates. And if you recognize my voice, it's probably from the Two Massage Therapists and a Microphone podcast, uh, namely the Unpopular Opinions episode, which is actually a very popular episode, and I get a lot of messages about that all the time. Uh, and it's basically just two hours of me complaining. <laughs> so I have been on the Two Massage Therapists and a Microphone podcast three times, and uh, we're actually about to record our fourth episode, and I am really excited about that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Two Massage Therapists and a Microphone podcast is the best massage therapist podcast, and what are you doing with your life if you're not listening to it? So, um, okay. Little bit about me. Um, I care about pretty much five things above all else, aside from like family and friends and health and all of that, you know, important stuff. Um, so number one, uh, most important thing you need to know about me is my favorite band of all time is the Smashing Pumpkins. I have six Smashing Pumpkins tattoos, two to six, depending on who you ask. It's a long story. Um, if you like the Smashing Pumpkins, please comment below, share your favorite song, and then we can be new best friends. So I am a, I'm a huge mega Smashing Pumpkins fan. And um, number two. My favorite show, which is The Simpsons. I absolutely adore The Simpsons. If you can see, it's kind of hard to see. You can see my Homer Simpson tattoo right here. It's the best show of all time, and I am the captain of a Simpsons trivia team. So uh, yeah, hit me with some Simpsons gifts and memes, and I, I love it. Um, number three, uh, what matters to me most in the world is my two cats, Dave Grohl and Marla Singer. Davey is right here. Hey, boo -boo. Um, Marla, uh, she's living her best life somewhere. Uh, if you recognize those names, Dave Grohl and Marla Singer, uh, we can be best friends. Um, number four, what I love most in life is world travel. I've had massages in 13 countries and I have a ton of stories about that. Um, I do miss traveling. It's been, we're coming up on two years since I've left the country, which is really hard for me. Um, and number five, last but not least, most importantly, is women's empowerment. And a big part of women's empowerment is women making money. I absolutely adore stories about women making good money. And um, I know that it's 2022 and I know that there are more than two genders. And uh, here at Rock Your Massage Practice Academy, we cater to massage therapists of all genders, but 
there's a special place in my heart for the ladies, um, but I want success for all of you. So that's basically everything that you need to know about me. Um, I don't want to waste your time. I'm going to cut to the chase. So a couple days ago, I posted a little clickbait in this group uh, about how uh, in 2021, I earned $115,000 working part time um, and uh, during a pandemic, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, and I promise to tell you how I did it. So I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to cut to the chase. Uh, the the So first of all, I just want to describe what that means. I work from home. Um, I don't run like a big busy clinic. I don't have staff or anything. So I work from home. And uh, when I say part time, I work four days a week, uh, basically nine months a year, nine to 10 months a year. Um, I did work a little bit more in 2021 than usual because I usually take three months off a year and travel and there's nowhere to go. Hi, Maggie. How's it going? Um, yeah, so uh, basically that amounts to a three day weekend every weekend and three months of vacation. So if you add it up, really, it's like 200 days a year that I'm not working and I make six figures. And uh, I think that's pretty dope. I'm actually really proud of that. So go me. Um, yeah, so that's working from home. That is no staff. Um, I didn't offer any discounts this year, no packages, no memberships, no upgrades, no retail, no tips. No kidding. It's honestly just me in my home with my hands. Um, and that's before tax too. Uh, we Canadians love our sales tax. So after tax, basically people came to my house in 2021 and gave me $130,000. So I didn't think that was possible. Uh, and um, I'm not here to brag. Okay, maybe a little. I like to brag a little. But more importantly, really, I'm just here to be an example of what's possible because I'm not special. I just made a series of really good decisions. Uh, and you can too. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So what you really all want to know, you're like, shut up about the movies and the cats already. My secret to earning six figures part time is coaching. Oh, hi, Barb. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. You guys are the best. Um, coaching, that is my secret. That is my big secret, is, is coaching. I invested early on in my career in business coaching. And not just any coach, the best coach. I'm biased, but I truly believe that she's the best coach. So if you guys don't know who I'm talking about, it is Rebecca Diazavedo Overson. Her name is a mouthful. Her personality is a mouthful. <laughs> she is large and in charge. I'm just going to call her Rebecca because she's got a lengthy name. Um, she runs this group. She runs the art of building a successful massage practice. Um, she, I believe, is the best coach in in the profession for massage therapists. I just, she's wonderful. She's magical. She is a force of nature. She is a massage therapist in Salt Lake City who built a thriving. Um, uh, prenatal massage practice uh, and then she sold it and now she coaches massage therapists full-time um, on, uh, on on how to do it themselves so uh, as I said she's a force in nature she is a single mom of three who does fitness competitions on the side you know just for funsies like she can bench press your mom um, she's also a piano entertainer she sings and plays piano and she's an artist she paints and um, draws and she makes jewelry. She made me this awesome um, bracelet that says feminist on it, which I love, it's so me. Um, so that's Rebecca, she runs this group and you all should know her. Um, and so I just wanna tell you my story about how I found Rebecca and how um, with no exaggeration, she honestly changed my life. So. I graduated from massage therapy school here in Toronto in 2015. So it's been like six and a half years that I've been practicing massage therapy. And um, I worked for other people. I worked for a chain spa. Yes, we do have those in Canada. And I worked for a chiropractic clinic and I worked for another clinic for two and a half years before going out on my own. And so two and a half years into practicing massage therapy, this was a second career for me, by the way. I came from the music industry. I worked in the music industry for 10 years. Um, hence all the the band tattoos and the, you know, my cat named Dave Grohl over here. Boo boo. He's very busy napping. Um, and I love the music industry and it was so much fun. But 
uh, there was a lot of sexism and there was no upward mobility. I worked at the biggest record company in the world and there were layoffs every year. So there was really no job security. And um, I kind of panicked and I quit and I decided to become a massage therapist because I still wanted a job where I could listen to music all day. So here I am. Um, so anyway, got out, graduated, worked for other businesses for a couple years and uh, uh, I think my story is similar to a lot of you. There were there were problems and there were things that I didn't like and I was tired of not having control over my schedule and I was tired of not being in charge of who I saw, just kind of going into work and my schedule would be filled with whoever booked in that day and I didn't get any say in the matter and you know, I wasn't a good fit for everybody. So I really wanted control and um, I don't know, I thought that you know maybe I could be pretty good at this whole running a business thing. So I, uh, there's a small room in my, in my house and I opened up shop super part-time. I kept a part-time job on the side because I really wanted that stability and job security and just knowing that I, I had access to money and I didn't have to panic. Um, that was the right choice for me. And so I just opened my private practice. Uh, four years ago in January 2018, super part-time, three days a week. Uh, and my first day in business, I had two clients. And let me tell you guys, I was thrilled. I thought people are coming to my house and they're paying me to give them the massage. That's amazing. So I was super excited. Um, but I knew. I learned pretty early on. I, I can't pay my bills on two massages a day. Toronto's a very expensive city. Um, and I also made the cardinal sin that I think most of us do, which is... Um, when I opened my practice, I took a look around, I scoped out the competition, and I am absolutely surrounded by competition. Let me tell you guys, if you do a Google Maps search of massage therapists near me, like they're everywhere. I'm not even the only massage therapist on my street. And so I looked around and I thought, well, what are they charging? I'm gonna charge a little less. And I undercut them because all the excuses that we tell ourselves, all the reasons, you know, I'm new, I'm new to the neighborhood, I'm a new massage therapist, I don't have any special modalities, nobody knows who I am. I didn't have like, I work from home, so I didn't have a an awning or a sandwich board or a sign or really nobody knew who I was or what I was doing. I just kind of threw up a, a DIY website it was fine, but like you could tell that I made it myself. And uh, and I got some online booking software and I just kind of said, here I am. And uh, I was getting about like three to five people a week, working three days a week. So basically like one to two people a day, I was on my own. And I thought that was really cool, but I knew that it wasn't enough. Um, and I went on my own and I did it all by myself for a whopping six weeks. So when I see some of you guys talk about how you've been struggling and running your own business for years or decades, that blows my mind. I am very impatient and I don't like to waste my time. So I, uh, I, yeah, I, I only did it on my own for six weeks. I just kind of wanted to get a baseline of like, okay, how much can I make in a month and, and what can I do on my own? And I knew that I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know the first thing about running a business. Like, how could I? It's, they don't teach you that in school, right? So that's when I found Rebecca Diazavedo. I uh, joined this group, The Art of Building a Successful Massage Practice, which I believe is the best massage therapist uh, group on Facebook. And I started watching her videos. If you go to the media section of this group, uh, when we're done here, stay with me, and then you check out the videos, um, you will see her beautiful face in all of those videos. And I watch them religiously. I spent hours watching those videos and she gives all kinds of free tidbits and free coaching and everything she says is pure gold. And it just, I loved her energy. I loved her attitude. I loved her tough love approach. She doesn't sugarcoat things. She tells it like it is. And uh, it was just smart, intelligent, just good business tips. Like she's a, she's a savvy, savvy badass woman. Sorry if there are children around, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so I, I just fell in love with her. I watched the videos, I fell in love with her and I said, okay, I'm gonna give her a call. 
so this was back in um, March of 2018. So we're coming up on four years that this happened. And uh, at the time, her coaching practice was quite small and she was doing everything herself. She was a one woman show. She didn't have staff yet. And uh, so I lucked out. I booked a free discovery call with her, which you can still do these days. You can get a free discovery call with her team. I'll, I'll uh, tell you how to do that later. But at the time, I got her on the phone. I, I really lucked out and I got Rebecca herself on the phone. And uh, we talked for an hour and we just hit it off. And she understood me and she really listened to me and she understood my problems and she understood my vision and my goals and um was totally supportive of how i'm like kind of punk rock i got like the piercings and tattoos at the time i had pink dreadlocks she had no interest in changing any of that she just wanted to help me build the practice of my dreams um and uh she had so much confidence in me i think that was really the key her her level of confidence not just in her own skills as a coach but in me she saw something in me that I honestly didn't see in myself. And um, by the end of the call, I was like, I don't just want to be your student. I want to be your best friend. Like she's in Salt Lake City. I'm in Toronto. We're in different countries. I wanted to hop on a plane and go hang out with her. I just, I absolutely fell in love with her. And um, you know, I was nervous. Um, she's really, really good at what she does, which means she's not cheap. And I'm Canadian, so uh, the conversion rate, not so favorable. So you take, uh, you know, 100 bucks US, that's like 130 bucks Canadian. So like add another 30% to anything American, and that's what I have to pay in my measly little Canadian dollars. Um, so I was a little bit hesitant about the price, I'm not going to lie. And uh, I was worried that maybe, you know, maybe she wouldn't understand what it's like to be a Canadian massage therapist because we are heavily regulated up here. Uh, there are all kinds of rules, all kinds of things that we're not allowed to do. And I thought like, well, what if she gives me, you know, all of these tips that really only apply to American massage therapists? Like what if she doesn't understand what it's like up here in Canada? Um, and the biggest concern was what if it doesn't work? You know, what, what if I spend this time and this money? It's an eight week coaching program. And what if I invest all this time and this money and, and what if I don't get anything out of it? And, and what if it doesn't work? And, uh, like I said, she just had so much confidence, uh, in her ability to help me, um, that, uh, I kind of, I put all those fears aside and I gave her my credit card right there on the phone and it was the best decision I could have made for my business. Honestly, investing in a business coach is hands down the best investment I've ever made in my career, aside from going to massage therapy school itself. Um, I think everybody needs a coach. I mean, there's not a, an elite athlete in the world who doesn't have a coach. If you, if you want to be the best and if you want to avoid costly mistakes and if you want to save all kinds of time and energy, uh, get a coach. I just, I cannot, I cannot say enough good things about coaching. I just believe so thoroughly in it. Um, and so, yeah, when it comes to, you know, it's a common question. What if this program doesn't work for me? I can say with, with utmost certainty, the only way that this coaching program won't work for you is if you don't do the work. So I like to liken coaching to personal training. If I want to get super fit, I hire a personal trainer. My personal trainer can write down all of the exercises and tell me exactly uh, what exercises to do and how many reps and how many sets and what days and what times and they can give me a nutrition plan and uh, they can give me a blueprint for how to get fit but I still have to lift those weights myself. And so it's the same with coaching. She will hold your hand and she will guide you and she will tell you exactly what to do. But at the end of the day, you got to do the work. This is 100% you get out of it what you put into it. So um, that's been my experience. So uh, fast forward four years, uh, I have a thriving private practice. I am 
Uh, I have over 100 five-star Google reviews. I think I'm the highest rated massage therapist in the neighborhood. I'm one of the most expensive massage therapists that I know, and I live in the lowest income neighborhood in the city. I have people driving from hours away to come see me, which is incredible. And like, I'm mostly doing like 90 minute relaxation massages. I don't do acupuncture or cupping or I don't have like fancy modalities. I'm really not that special. Um, I, uh, I raise my rates every year and uh, only good things have happened with that. And um, my favorite part about all of this is uh, because I've been on the Two Massage Therapists and Microphone podcast several times and because I'm quite vocal in these Facebook groups, I get messages from massage therapists from all around the world um, telling me that I'm an inspiration to them, that I've inspired them to strive for more. And a lot of them, a lot of women, which most massage therapists are women or people who are socialized as women, they message me and they say, I raise my rates because of you. And that to me is just the most beautiful, wonderful thing. And I will never, ever get sick of those messages. So if I have ever in any way inspired you to um, strive for more and to ask for more in life, um, come tell me. Because I never get sick of those messages. Um, sorry, was not planning on crying today. Um, and... Uh, for anybody who's who's saying it's it's not about the money, I hear that a lot, and it's not just about the money. It's um, really ultimately the gift that Rebecca gave me is not just the ability to earn money. It's not just you know strategies. It's confidence. I stand taller, which is important because I'm only five feet tall. <laughs> And um, I can talk about my business and my practice in a way that it makes me feel confident in what I do, that I can confidently offer my services to the right people, and that I can confidently say no to the wrong people. I only work with my ideal clients. I wake up and I look at my calendar and it's fully booked and I'm excited to see every name on that calendar. And it is just the most wonderful feeling. Um, and... There, you can't, you can't put a price on confidence. It's, it bleeds into every avenue of your life. It's not just my business. It's my personal life. It's my interpersonal relationships. It's the way I carry myself. It's the BS that I don't put up with anymore. Um, I just, I want that so badly for all of you. Um, oh, hi, Tracy. <laughs> um, and also not just confidence, but calm. When I worked in the music industry, it was a lot of fun. It was a ton of fun, but I didn't make good money. I was living paycheck to paycheck. I was constantly stressed out about money. Um, I, at the time I had a roommate and he would have to pay our rent for us. And then I would pay him later because I could never make rent on the first of the month because I didn't make any money. And now I've got this calm, this sense of calm, I have money and I know I can make more. And even in a pandemic, even when we shut down, I know I can get resourceful and I know I can make money. And I am 100% confident that I, I could close my doors today and I could move to a different city or a different country and I could start from scratch and I could build a thriving massage practice literally anywhere in the world. I truly believe that. Um, but just the not having to stress about money and not having to worry about money is such a gift. And I honestly think that I'm a better friend and family member. And I'm not saying rich people are better. This is absolutely not what I'm saying. I mean that because I have security and because I have money in my bank account, because I have this confidence and this calm about me, I'm less stressed and I'm more generous with the people in my life. And that is just such a gift. And that is something that I want for all of you. 
Um, I mentioned generosity. I'm able to donate to charity. I donate $5 from every massage that I give to charity, to local charities, food banks, and women's shelters. And um, this year I donated, uh, I think it was around $3,800 to charity uh, from my business, which I think is super cool. Um, and uh, um, so, okay, I'm gonna get a little emotional here. So my, um, my dad, uh, he passed away five years ago next month and he was an entrepreneur um, and an immigrant and just an absolute inspiration and very, very generous man. And every year on his birthday, um, I donate a thousand dollars to his favorite charity, which I think is the best way that I can kind of honor his legacy. And I know it's not polite to brag and to like tell people about, you know, donating to charity. I, I don't usually tell people this. It's very personal, but the point is, um, I can throw a thousand dollars on my credit card and not even notice that it's gone. Like it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It's easy. I can, I can just say, yeah, no problem. I'm going to, I'm going to donate a thousand bucks to charity today just cause I feel like it. Um, and not have to worry about where that money's going to come from. And that is just that is the best feeling in the world. I mean, how many, how many programs and charities would you, would you love to support if only you could afford to? Um, so that's one of my favorite things about making money is that I get to, I get to give a lot of it away and I just feel so grateful and honored to be able to do that. Um, money I think is also about freedom, uh, which is really important to me because as I mentioned before, I'm really passionate about, uh, women's empowerment um, it's about choice and, and ultimately empowerment, um, not just for women, for, for people of all genders. Um, we do something really special. We're massage therapists. We touch people for a lot of our clients. We might be their only source of human contact and we spend more time with them more intimately than any other healthcare provider. I mean, maybe they might spend a lot of time with their, you know, psychotherapist or psychologist, but we touch them. And I just think that is beautiful and that is sacred and um, helping people and earning a good living don't have to be mutually exclusive. You can absolutely do both. And I really, truly believe that. And I think it's a beautiful thing when, um, when we can learn to thrive instead of just survive. So... Um, I hope you agree with me on that. <laughs> um, and I, you know, I was just girl power. I, I think we need more women. This is a woman dominated profession and we need more women in leadership. We need more women CEOs. We need more women bosses. We need more women in positions of power. We need more women business owners. We need more women making money. We need more women making decisions. And... I will never stop fighting for this movement. I will always fight for women and massage therapists to, to thrive and to succeed and to really build the life of their dreams. Um, Cause I think we deserve it. We work hard. This job is not easy. You guys like my hands hurt. So. Um, another thing that I really like about money. I talk about money a lot. Uh, I have the money to invest in myself and that I think is the best way to spend money is investing in yourself. Um, I just joined a super swanky brand new fancy gym, one of those super snobby gyms. Guys, it has a eucalyptus steam room and I cannot wait to check that out. Um, I also signed up for personal training which I'm really excited about because um, I think strength and health are really important and the stronger I get, um, the better I can serve my clients. Um, I invested in life coaching this year, uh, which is a total game changer. I also became a life coach. I did life coach training, which was not cheap. So that was a wonderful, fabulous investment that I was able to make, um, in myself. I did a $15,000 renovation to my massage room this year so that I can create this sacred, beautiful space for my clients that's warm and welcoming. Um, and, uh, yeah, none of that was cheap. And I did it all with the money that I made from massaging with the tools that I learned from Rebecca Diazavedo. 
Um, I've invested in professional web design, professional photography, professional makeup artistry. Not today, as you can see, I did my own makeup, which is why it's a hack job. Um, professional house cleaning. I, ha I have a maid, which is great because I'm not good at cleaning my own house. And because I work from home and because we're in a pandemic, it's very important that I keep my home super clean. Um, regular massages. I get a 90 minute massage every four weeks and honestly I could afford to get more and the only reason I don't get more massages is because I am absolutely useless after I get my massage. I get my massage in the morning and then I can't do anything for the rest of the day because I'm just, you know, massage drunk. So um, how many massage therapists do you know who never get massages and who say, well, I can't afford a massage? There should not be any massage therapists who can't afford massages. We should be charging enough that we can get massages. We have to take care of our bodies and we have to take care of ourselves so that we can take care of our clients. So go get regular massages. Um, I have a savings account and it's not empty. When I worked in the music industry, I technically had a savings account and it was perpetually drained. I have a savings account that has money in it. I'm still getting used to that. That's a new, wonderful, fabulous, exciting feeling. Um, and my favorite thing, uh, I have enough money to pay other women business owners to help me with my business. There is an army of women behind my success and it all started with Rebecca Diazabedo. So my business coach, Rebecca, she's a woman. My maid, woman-owned business. My photographer and the makeup artist that she brought over, women. My web designer is a woman. My copywriting coach is a woman. My life coach is a woman. It honestly takes an army of women behind me to get me where I am, and I wouldn't be able to afford to pay them if I didn't make good money. So I just think there's nothing bad can come from women making money and massage therapists in general. I'm sorry, I don't mean to exclude the guys. There is no better investment you can make than the investment in yourself. And if you're running a business, you're going to want to invest in learning how to do it properly so you can avoid making costly mistakes because it breaks my heart to see how many people out there are struggling. It's optional. It doesn't have to be this way. Running a business is not easy. It doesn't come naturally. They don't exactly teach it to you in school. But it's a skill that can be learned just like any other skill, just like massaging. When I decided I wanted to become a massage therapist, what did I do? I did some research. I found the best school, what I think is the best school. It's the best school. Uh, and, and I enrolled and I became a massage therapist and I studied hard and I worked really hard and I got my license. And it's the same with business. When I wanted to run a business, I did my research and I found who I thought was the best coach for me. And I hired her and, and I did what she said. That's the important part is I did what she said. Um, and it's just, my business just skyrocketed from there. And uh, yeah, it's, you can do it too. I'm not, I'm not special. I'm not, I'm not different. I just, I just made some really good decisions and I invested in myself early. And if that, if there's one takeaway you can get from this long rambling nonsense <laughs> that you guys are sticking with me through, it's, uh, it's that, uh, in, invest in yourself early on and, and you will reap the benefits for years to come. So that's basically my story. That's everything about me. Um, you guys are going to see me in this group more often if you'll have me. Um, I'm going to be popping in with some quick tips and tidbits, and I'm going to be sharing some wins from the graduates. Of Oh, there's Marla. There's my baby girl, Marla. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be doing a little bit of mini coaching, and um, uh, I'm going to be sharing the wins from the graduates of the Rock Your Massage Practice Academy. Um, we're breaking the grass, glass ceiling, you guys. We've got people. I doubled my 2020 income this year. I more than doubled it. I'm not alone. We had people doubling their income, tripling their income. I worked with Rebecca, um, like I said, in March 2018. It's an eight-week program. And my goal, my goal when I signed up, because I was only working three days a week, my goal was to get 15 new clients in that time. One five. 15 new clients. I thought, you know, eight-week program, 15 new clients, that's around two new people a week. I thought that that was going to be pretty cool. By the time I graduated, I had 50. Five, zero. I had 50 new clients in that time. I tripled my business 
in two months working with Rebecca. And it's just been going steadily up and up and up. And next year I'm going to earn even more in even less time because I just raised my rates again. Um, yeah. So, okay. Where do you go? Rockyourmassagepractice.com. I'm going to uh, leave that link down below or maybe somebody else can, <laughs> but I'll, I'll do it too. This is where you want to start. You want to go to rockyourmassagepractice.com. At the top of the website, there's a, there's a little button where you can sign up for a free webinar. It's called the four shifts for creating a successful massage practice. Um, that is where you want to start. If you're completely unfamiliar with Rebecca Danzavedo and with her program and with her style, um, watch that you will get excellent free tips. Um, that you're, whether or not you choose to work with us, you're, you're going to want to watch this webinar because it's just, it's a gold. Um, and, uh, you can watch it on demand and then I think they'll email you a, a replay. So go do that. That is the first thing that you should do is rockymassagepractice.com. Check out the website. You can read testimonials. My testimonial is on there. You can read the FAQ, the frequently asked questions section. Um, check it out. And, uh, uh, another thing that you can do, which is something that I did, if you're like me, if you like to really do your research before you invest in something, which I, you know, I recommend, um, check out the media section of this group. So if you go to the top of this group, the art of building a successful massage practice, there's a section called media. And if you click on that and you click on videos, you will see dozens upon dozens upon dozens of videos of Rebecca giving free coaching. I've heard stories of people who have completely transformed their private practices without even working with Rebecca, without giving her a dime. All they do is they watch her videos and it completely transforms their business. But if you are ready to hit the ground running and if you are willing to be decisive and committed and resourceful and coachable, you have to be coachable. Um, and you're just ready to make 2022 your year and, and you want to smash your goals and you want to reverse engineer the, the lifestyle of your dreams. That's really what we're doing over here in the academy. Um, and, you know, you don't have to earn six figures if that's not what you want. You, you can work super part time. You can earn more. You can earn less. It's not, it's not about the number you get to define your own success. You get to decide what success means to you. And in the academy, Rebecca and her team of rock stars um, will help you get there. So go to rockyourmassagepractice.com. If you're ready to hit the ground running, if you're ready to make this year your year and you're ready to really build the private massage therapy practice of your dreams, you are gonna wanna book a free discovery call with her team. You will be in good hands. You will get ultimate clarity. Um, and uh, I think I've been talking for long enough. So thank you for those who made it uh, this far. Thank you for joining me on my first um, my first big Facebook Live in a group with over 13,000 people. I was really nervous. So Thanks for joining in and um, I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you and I hope to see you soon. Um, you guys are the best. Rebecca, I love you so much. Um, you changed my life. Um, Rebecca is my favorite person who I haven't met in person. We have not met in person and that is a crime. I was supposed to fly to Salt Lake City last May to meet her and then Pando. <laughs> so one day, one day I'm going to get there and I'm going to give you the biggest air hug and it's going to hurt because you're super strong. <laughs> so, um, okay. That's enough for me. Uh, thanks for joining me and my cats. There's Marla and, and my beautiful Davy boy. And, um, you guys are the best. I want nothing but the best for you. And uh, yeah, let's make let's make this our year. We deserve it. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Have a great day.